talking about my profession, which is the HR profession. For um, over the last five years now, I've been campaigning for a more inclusive um, gender agenda. When we intersect uh, gender with ethnicity, we find that my profession is um, predominantly um, representative for white women, but what we find, there are not many people like me within uh, the senior roles within HR. So I've been really driving that forward. I am breaking the bias by launching a women's development programme in finance and procurement next month. So I'm a great believer of education, in particular education of our children and allowing our children to embrace difference through who they see, how they interact with others, will ensure that we're creating a more inclusive and fairer culture and society as my children and as our children grow up. My biggest challenge has been being too hard on myself and setting a standard that everything needs to be perfect to everyone all the time. My message to the next generation is that although we've made great strides over the past 20, 30, 40 years, that we're still not there, we're still not ready yet, and to ask the next generation to not accept the status quo and to, and to um, help, help us do better because there's still a lot to do in order to um, break the bias. Mm -hmm.